was young, man. I was like uh, 13, 14, you know what I'm saying? And uh, mm -hmm. uh, my mom had a homegirl, you know what I'm saying? And her homegirl uh, boyfriend used to beat on her, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, she hid over our house one night, didn't go home, and the next day she went home. So, uh, around about, what, two, three o'clock, it was Super Bowl Sunday, my mama cooking the dip, you know what I'm saying, having people over. Um, she told me, she said, go around there and get some milk. So I go around there and get some milk, but, you know, she always, she always, she had bought me this knife, this little, uh, dagger looking knife, you know, I was keeping it in my pocket, cause you know, you in the street, you in the hood. Um, uh, I go down and, uh. Man, and they was arguing right there. And then he looked at me. He was like, man, get the fuck out of my house. And I was like, wow. Like, I don't know what to say. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of my house. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I can go back and tell mama, you feel me? I ain't got this milk. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm going to stay right here until you just give me that milk. You know? And then, next thing you know, he cussed me out again. Then I turn around and mom Dukes is walking, like, knocking me out the way. Like, Hold on, this is when Mom Dukes was big and OG with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, on, like, dumb swole, like, on some pimp shit. And she knocked me out the way, she was like, hold on, motherfucker, don't be talking to my son like that, blah, blah, blah. They get into it, back and forth. He, uh, he called my mama a bitch. And my mama said, look, call, I ain't your bitch, you feel me? You talk to your bitch like that, you feel me? Don't talk to me like that, because I, I handle you. And he called her a bitch and kind of mushed her head. And my mom was walking on a cane because she had just got surgery on her hip. Man, mom Duke took the wood grain cane and knocked it across his head. Uh, and he was bald headed my ass, you know what I'm saying? Knocked it across his head, had him leaking. So he rushed it. They ended up swinging. They throwing hands. Paws might have had. They ended up throwing paws. And I, you know, I went over there. You know, I'm a little dude. I'm like, hey, man, get out my mama. You know, I'm. Rib shot him, but he a big dude that ain't, you know, phasing him. Cuz slammed me across the couch. I flip over the couch. I say, I just, I blacked out. I took the knife and just went ham. I stabbed, I stabbed him like uh, seven times in the head. You know what I'm saying? Uh, missed the artery. I could have killed him. And, uh, he was in a coma for like four days. When he woke up, he, he got the hell on because he had warrants and stuff. And that's how the case got dropped. Well, we had to sit in jail till, you know, that shit got resolved. I didn't know the series of it at first. I, you know, I was 14, I didn't know the series of it. I was, you know, just trying not to, I was just trying to be hard then, you know, when I was 14, I didn't care for real. You know what I'm saying? My dad, he kept telling me like, you know, you cut the man up. Uh, I was like, I don't even remember because I blacked out. And I really did. I, I didn't remember. They showed me the pictures. I'm like, I couldn't have did that. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't have did. They couldn't even find a knife. They couldn't even find a knife. So I was like, I don't, you know, my mom, she put me on this little story. Like, she like, we going to say what we know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Not what, you know. And my mom paid a couple of J's around there to, you know, agree with our story. So we got off. Within like like a month we got off. Yeah, they tried. They tried. But I mean, I guess by the graces of God, cuz got up and left and there wasn't no case. You know what I'm saying? You can't have a case without the evidence. You're in business with Def Jam and you're helping them sell records. Universal, you're helping them sell records. So what exactly is it for sale, Kanye? <laughs> I don't get it. I'm confused. You know, don't be, you know, fake revolutionary for profit. I enjoyed it. It was awesome. I wish I would have uh, been a part of it. Alright, so do you enjoy the the TV It was it was pretty it was pretty alright. I had I had fun watching it.